some preachers that are so pious. All you got to do is wait for the halo on the wings, and away they go. I'm yes. Not, I'm a sorry low down dog, and I mean I'm a sinner of sinners, and I need forgiveness and the grace of God, and I'll yes. never be right with God unless I get it. Amen. And, and to this day, I'm, I'll be 77 years old just in a few weeks. And folks, I'm sorry, low down sinner that needs forgiveness and cleansing of the blood of Christ. And I go there every day of my life. And somebody looks at me and they say, well, what are you hiding? I'm hiding nothing. You can follow me every day of my life. You can follow me 24-7. I hide nothing. You can take my computer. You can dissect it and look at everything on it, everything I've searched out on YouTube and all of that. But I know this. My righteousness is not me. It's not something like that. My righteousness is the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. And my dear friends, even though everything may look hunky-dory in your life, you may think you're so clean, so holy, so pious, but the truth of the matter is, compare your righteousness to the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you're going to come up short. Yes. And if you'll let the Holy Spirit talk to you, he'll walk in fellowship with you and in the light. So the Bible tells us in the book of Exodus chapter number 5, Moses returned to the Lord and said, Lord, wherefore hast thou so evil entreated this people? Why is it that thou hast sent me? What did you send me for? Why don't you call me for Midian, he said. For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, 